I have no doubt that most of us recognize that exercise is an important part of our well-being. Yet parents, especially those working or with very young children, struggle to find time, energy, and motivation to fit fitness into their lives. On top of working, managing a household, keeping up with children, long commutes, and family obligations, even considering adding a regular fitness routine can seem daunting. When raising a family, it certainly isn't easy to find time for individual health and well-being. If you do, however, find it, you will realize that exercise will help make you and your family healthier and happier. The goal of this webinar is to provide a few tips for you to consider. My name is Nicole Schwartz. I work as a contractor for the Family Services Section of Family and Morale Wellness and Recreation at the Defense Distribution Center Susquehanna in New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. Providing support and assistance to the Family Advocacy Program, or FAP, is the focus of my work with DLA. This webinar is intended to provide some basic information and resources to get and keep our workforce healthy and resilient. Parenting is stressful. Surely this isn't news to anyone that chose to view this webinar. Children do not come with instruction manuals. They're always growing and there are always so many things physically, mentally, and emotionally required of caregivers. Parenting is stressful. After having or adopting your first child, your entire life is thrown into a period of transition. You have to find a new normal. And this same thing happens each time you add a new family member. Schedules are difficult to manage. Taking care of children, pets, and a household are challenging tasks for anyone, and even more difficult to juggle if a caregiver is working outside of the home. Despite the fact that new parents often feel like they're always on the go, research from the University of Pittsburgh confirmed that new parents really are more sedentary than singles or even married couples without children. The study tracked physical exercise levels of more than 800 young adults for more than two years, a considerable study. It found that while physical activity declined among all participants during that span, it took the biggest hit among new parents. Research shows that exercise helps people get and stay healthy, more energetic. It facilitates weight loss, improves circulation, muscle tone, improves posture, and gives us a more positive outlook on life. What child, spouse, or partner doesn't want a mom, dad, or partner who's happy, smiling, and in good health? In some instances, prioritizing fitness and wellness and making an active lifestyle a part of your family values, you'll find it easier to find time to be active. Exercise improves our physical health. The documented long-term benefits of our physical health include a stronger immune system, an increased ability for our body to fight off infection and illness, a reduction in type 2 diabetes by increasing insulin sensitivity and improving carbohydrate metabolism, lower blood pressure, a strengthening of the entire cardiovascular system, which includes our heart and lungs. Active individuals are less likely to become overweight and will have better control over their body fat, and individuals who are already overweight are able to reduce their body weight due to the physiological effect of burning fat while exercising. Another long-term effect is the development of stronger bones and muscle structure which is especially important of in, in individuals over the age of 40 when body's natural process includes the breakdown of those, those bones and also mo muscle structure. So including physical fitness into your regular lifestyle will help to offset some of those natural, um, those natural processes. The next is energy. And who doesn't love energy? A little extra energy. 
Activity improves our body's ability to absorb oxygen. This increase in oxygen absorption also makes our cells more energized. Um, and finally, detox. An increase in the blood flow through, um, through an elevated heart rate and physical activity promotes the body's transportation of byproducts of metabolism and toxins back from cells for elimination recycling, and also future use elsewhere. So individuals who exercise, they feel fitter and more energized because their body has an increased ability to detoxify. So those are some of the physical health implications and improvements with um, physical exercise. In addition to our physical health, there are also documented benefits to our mental health. Have you noticed how your body feels when you're under a great deal of stress? Your muscles may be tense, especially if, like me, you have a tendency to wear your shoulders as earrings. When you're, tes you're tense and stressed, you squeeze the muscles of your shoulders, neck, and face, and it can leave you with back or neck pain or painful stress or tension headaches. You might feel a tightness in your chest. You may notice an increase in your pulse rate or even muscle cramps. You may also experience problems such as heartburn, a stomach ache, diarrhea, or frequent urination. Then, on top of that, the worry and discomfort of all these physical symptoms can also turn, in turn lead to even more stress, which can create a vicious cycle between your mind and your body. Exercising is an effective way to break this cycle. As well as releasing relaxation hormones and endorphins in the brain, physical activity helps to relax the muscles and to relieve some of that tension in your body. And since the body and mind are so closely linked, when your body feels better, so too will your mind. Also, sharper memory and thinking. The same biochemicals that make you feel better also help you concentrate and feel mentally sharp for tasks at hand. Exercise also stimulates the growth of new brain cells and helps prevent age-related decline. So for better memory and sharper thinking, exercise. Even short workouts can assist in regulating our sleep patterns. So sleep, which is very important to both our physical and our mental health, um, are, is listed here as an improvement. So even short workouts, even short periods of time when we're physically active can assist in, us, in helping us regulate our, our natural sleep patterns. Studies show that exercise can treat mild to moderate depressive symptoms as effectively as antidepressant medication. In addition to relieving the depressive symptoms, research also shows that maintaining an exercise schedule can prevent you from relapsing into those, uh, those, the set of depressive symptoms as well. A regular fitness routine is a natural and effective antidepressant and anti-anxiety treatment. It relieves tension and stress and boosts physical and mental energy and enhances well-being through the release of endorphins. Anything that gets you moving can help. Move on to some other, some other mental health concerns such as ADHD and PTSD and trauma. Exercising regularly is one of the easiest and most effective ways to reduce symptoms of ADHD and to improve concentration, motivation, memory, and mood. Physical activity immediately boosts all the brain's chemical hormones such as dopamine and norepinephrine and serotonin levels, and all of these affect our focus and attention. And in this way, exercise really works in the same way that some ADHD medications do, such as Ritalin and Adderall. Evidence also suggests that by really focusing on our body, we can help, um, we can experience a, a relief of P symptoms related to PTSD and trauma. So focusing on your body and how it feels as you exercise 
can actually help your nervous system become unstuck and begin to move out of some, what is sometimes immobilizing stress response that's characterized by PTSD or trauma. Instead of thinking about other things, if you pay very close attention to your physical sensations and tune in to your joints and muscles, even your insides as your body moves, exercises that involve cross movement and engage both arms and legs such as walking, running, swimming, biking, weight training, or dancing are some of the best choices because that cross hemispheric movement helps to regulate our internal process. So this is a list of improvements to our mental health. So let's get to those quick tips. Get to your workout in and over with, get to it early. Go to bed after your children are asleep and wake up before they do and fit one of those workouts in. Having time on your own when you are not having to manage the needs of your household or the needs of your other family members can really help assure that you get your workout in because you're not going to be pulled in other directions. Once everybody is asleep or before they're awake in the morning, you can focus on what your own needs are without being distracted or interrupted. The next quick tip is to get outside. Fitness routines do not have to involve a gym or any fancy fitness equipment, despite what the, um, the companies want to sell you. You can be active in your very own community or enhance your daily routine with additional movement. Take a walk, take a hike, check out the bike routes that people in your community use by downloading a riding app to your phone. Get creative. One of my coworkers plays a game on his phone that gets him out around and walking like a scavenger hunt, and that increases his number of steps. Another coworker finds it really important to wear a pedometer so that she can count the number of steps that she gets in a day. And at the end of the day, she reflects on that. And if she hasn't hit her goal, she'll find ways and time to, um, to, to increase her physical exercise and exertion to make, to make and meet that goal. Another quick tip is to get active alongside and with your children. Parks, playgrounds, bikes, sports. Playing with your children is a great way to get exercise and to connect with each other. Fitness routines don't have to be long to be beneficial. Even 20 minutes with an elevated heart rate will increase your stamina and energy and you can do that right alongside of your children. You can engage them in the game. Play soccer, play kickball, run around, tag each other, chase. Um, go for a hike or a bike ride. You can get active along with your children and role model for them the importance of a healthy and active lifestyle. Another tip is to do some pre-planning. Schedule your workouts. Plan for them like you would any other event. Put it in your calendar of events and make sure that you prioritize it as something that's important to accomplish. You can have a DV ready, you can open up an app, you can, um, you know, you can set the timer on your treadmill, but if you plan, if you plan it into your day, you're more likely to um, accomplish your fitness goals. You can make your children your weights, pushing a stroller, using an infant to help with your cardio. These are all ways that you can actually use your young children to supplement your workout. In fact, there are several parenting groups that meet up to do just that. So you can find a local play group or a local parenting group and work out right with your baby, alongside of your baby. There are now mom and dad and me and baby yoga classes. So you can take a yoga class right with your baby. So including them in your fitness routine as, an, as help um, is, is one way to protect your fitness time. And finally, join a gym that has childcare. Childcare at the gym can help busy parents turn fitness time into fun. I'm a member of the military community and at a previous duty station, I made my own fitness time a priority and turned it into a really fun destination for my two daughters. 
We went to the gym together and the girls played in child watch for the first hour while I attended to my own fitness needs. And I did different things. I swam, I work out, I did the sauna, um, I did cardio, I did, um, I took a class every once in a while. So I attended to my own fitness needs for a full hour. And after that hour, I went and I picked them up and I signed them out of child watch and then we went to the pool for the next hour. And I got some additional fitness time in there. And my girls absolutely loved this and it was never ever difficult to get them to the gym with me. And it always provided me an opportunity to work out and get my fitness time in. So joining a gym um, that provides childcare can really, really help working families because it provides the children with something to do while you're working out. Um, so, DLA employees can apply to take part in the DLA wellness program. So you can access the application form on the SharePoint drive and complete it and submit it to your supervisor. And if approved, employees are entitled to use one hour of wellness time during their workday on three days a week. This is a great benefit for working of, of working at DLA. And it's a great way for working parents to address some of their fitness goals while they're at work. Personal training and instruction are available free of charge at the fitness center at Defense Distribution Susquehanna. The fitness center also offers a variety of classes, events, and a WellBeats program that has on-demand classes that you can take on your own schedule. So consider using the facility right here on the installation to meet some of your fitness needs. Thank you for viewing the Family Advocacy Programs webinar. We appreciate your time and attention. If you have any questions regarding FAP or seek referrals for programs, that can assist you on your journey, or you would like to know more about our webinars or programming, please feel free to reach out to the Family Advocacy Program Manager at 717-770-7066. And thanks for joining us.